Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Kent and today we'll look at a problem that I had with my CNC conversion. Despite the relatively small size, I'm successfully using 280 ounce inch NEMA 23 closed loop three phase stepper motors. Being closed loop, the driver knows that the motor is out of position and steps are never lost. Also disturbances introduced by heavy machining can be corrected. Their PID control loop also adjusts current to the motor as needed to minimize air, consumed power, and heating. The performance of the CNC conversion has been great with rapids in excess of 300 inches per minute. Normally I limit rapids to 50 or 100 inches per minute because the base is tipsy. The closed loop driver will fault if the motor position air grows beyond the limit. The way I've wired the CNC conversion, the faulting of any axis is treated as an emergency stop and shuts the system down. Occasionally the x-axis would fault for no apparent reason. This was a rare event and hard to associate with the cause. One day while touching off a part, the x-axis fault had causing an emergency stop. Like watching a wreck, without power the head came down and rested on top of the delicate Heimer probe. Perhaps this behavior should be changed to turn off the spindle and stop motion but leave the other axes powered. This would simply require disconnecting Linux CNC from control of the driver enable lines. Regardless, the faulting x-axis had to be solved. Believing the x-axis may be binding, I loosened the motor mount but there was no binding. The horrible noise is the motor dithering, trying all that it can to get to the correct position. Turns out the problem was in the connector. The cable on the x-axis experiences the most motion. The power extension cables have silicone in the connector, but the motor connector lacks this strain relief. Without strain relief, one of the pins in the connector is failing. The closed loop system, unable to properly control air, was increasing current and in turn melting a pin in the connector. The connector actually melted together. Someone more observant may have noticed a discoloring of the connector. For the time being, I cut off the connector and soldered the power wires together. I plan to eventually redo this with an industrial connector. This was a persistent and not obvious problem, and I hope this explanation will help others more quickly solve their problem if similar. Thank you for watching and subscribing. New videos coming soon.